Hello, this is Al Withers with the Minnesota Agriculture in the Classroom program uh, based at the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Today we're going to learn a little bit about robots. Uh, we're always trying to help students, teachers, and the general public learn about what goes on on the farm. And uh, in this case, we want you to learn a little bit more about changes in dairy farming today. And so we are going to talk about robots on the farm. We're with Joe Johnson at the Johnson Dairy Farm near South Haven, Minnesota. So the main reasons you went to using robots, and, and there are four of them behind us, and we'll, we'll get a close-up in a minute here, but the main reasons you went to using robots. The main reason was labor issues, you know, you know, paying out too much labor. Our old parlor was getting wore out and beat up to where we either ha we had to do something. And then just the, this, you know, just to get rid of a lot of the stress with having to deal, you know, deal with, you know, people not showing up and, you know, the extra stress on the cows from being ran up and down, you know, you know, twice a day. And right now the cows go in at, at will, so there, right. there's less stress on the cows. So you, you paid uh, how much per robot? You put a little money into this operation. Yep. The robots at the time we bought them were 175000 apiece. Okay, so that's $700,000 straight up for four robots. Give me the day in the life of a cow right now on your operation. You know, it can eat whenever they want. They go in and get milked whenever they want, and then they can lay down whenever they want. They, they're not bothered at all. The only time I bother them is once a day I get them up, and whenever they, when they get fed each day, I get them up and scrape and lime and sweep the mats, but that's the only time they're bothered the whole day. The cows seem a lot calmer. Mm -hmm. You know, they're... They're used to people more. I mean, you, you could walk out in the pen and you'll have 15 cows up to you. And Okay, so what prompts the cow then to say, I need to be milked or, you know, this is my fourth time in here today. Yeah. What prompts them to just do this on their own? The cows in the robot, they get fed a, a protein pellet and that protein pellet makes them want to come back. It, when, they're, when they're low on protein, they come, that's when they want to come back or else the pressure of the, ba you know, the milk in the bag. Right. There's you know different things, but it's mainly that protein pellet. They 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 go crazy for that. So. And how many times do they milk themselves? The cows get milked in between two and six times a day. So are you getting more milk per cow now? Yeah, when we started the robots, we were around 75 pounds a cow. And that seven yeah around that 75. Right now we're in the mid 80s, so we've got yeah. about a 10 pound increase. So they just sort of wait in line. It's kind of like in the city on the freeway waiting for the green light to go on an on-ramp. They sort of just wait in line for their turn. Oh yeah, There's, it's 24-7 milking and usually about 15 to 20 of the hours there's cows waiting in line during the day. And, and each robot again will take about 60 cows a day. So you have four robots for your 220. So any farm that would have modern robots would be about 60, 65 cows. Yep. Yeah, they say 60 cows per robot. Well, Joe, let's go uh, watch the robot and the cows and learn a little bit more about uh, the actual uh, machine itself. Okay. Right now, it's it's got a, a disinfectant where it's cleaning the teats off right now. So it's got a brush that swings out and it's cleaning each quarter off, getting all the debris and and, dis and disinfecting the quarters. So it does, it does this twice. It does a double wash on each of the quarters. And right now, as it gets done with each quarter for the second time, it'll, it'll blow air up on the teat to dry the teat too. So it, it does a double clean on each one, and then it dries each teat in the process also. See that, that sound of that's the air blowing the, on the teats right now. So once it's done with the fourth teat, the arm, the brush is going to swing back out and then the lasers are going to come into effect and start finding the, the teats of the cow. And what happens is that it stores the last 30 milkings from each cow. So every time it milks each cow, it gets better and better at finding, at finding the teats. So when a cow first calves, it takes a, it takes a while It'll store the first 30, and then once it gets to the 30th, 31st, it'll drop the first and keep storing the last 30 as the cow's bag changes over time. So right now, it just connected all four quarters. It's waiting for milk flow, and once it gets that milk flow in each quarter, it sprays the, the brush off 
So right now that cow has milk flow in each quarter. This milk right now goes into the receiver jar off to the right here. The jar gets dumped in through the pipeline into the milk tank into the right across the the freestyle barn over here. So right now one quarter got done. Now the second quarter got done. So both front quarters are done and the back two are are getting close. The cow that's in the robot right now is number 695. That's her responder number. That's the, the number on her strap. That identifies the cow when she comes in. Right here it actually shows the weight of the cow. This cow weighs 1,508 pounds. Then up on top here it shows 24.46 pounds. That's how many pounds she's given so far. And then right here it shows a left front, right front, left rear, and right, right rear. And right now the only quarter being milked is a left rear because there's a check mark by the left front, right front, and right rear. And there's an hourglass right here that's all white. So that means that that quarter is almost done also. And then it also shows the minutes and seconds it was on each quarter. So a minute 49 on the left front, two minutes and three seconds on the right front. So far the left rear is milked three minutes and 14, and the right rear is two minutes and 41 seconds. See now the left rear just got done. So right now it's spraying a, spraying a teat dip, an iodine on the quarters, and now it's gonna let this cow out drain the milk jar. It'll drain the milk jar, do a, do a cup wash. And now this cow will leave and the next cow in line will be entering. Well, you know the old saying, you learn something new every day. And today you learned about the dairy farmer's new best friend, the robot milking machine. Thank you very much, Al Withers uh, with Minnesota Agriculture in the Classroom.